Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rocky J. Today I'm going to be cooking conch flitters. We're going to start off with flour, onion, bell pepper, salt, pepper, tomato paste, baking powder, milk, and thyme. And as you can see, I have conch in a bowl that's already cut up. Okay guys, let's get started. Okay guys. I have here, I have three cups of flour. Um, next, I'm gonna put my baking powder. We're gonna do all the dry ingredients first and then we're gonna move to the wet ingredients. So I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of baking powder inside of the flour. <clears throat> And then I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. You can also use white pepper too if you don't want to um, show the black pepper. And then I'm going to go ahead on and use some dry thyme. It's like a pinch of dry thyme. And then I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to put one teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to go ahead on and start with my wet products, which is, this is the tomato paste. I'm going to add one, two tablespoons, teaspoons of that. Then... <clears throat> I have my egg that I'm gonna go ahead on and put into here. And then I have my onion and bell pepper that I already cut up. I'm gonna go ahead on and add all of this here. And then I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to stir this up real quick. Just a little bit. Okay, so it's looking like this, guys. I have another egg that I'm going to put inside too. But I'm going to wait, hold off on that. Then I'm going to go ahead on and add my meat. I have a whole nother piece, but I'm not going to cut this up. I'm going to add my conch into the um, flour batter. Mix that up. I like my um, conch flitters to be kind of meaty since it's for my household. So... That conch, I would say I got about a full cup of conch inside of there. So, the milk, I'm going to pour. That's about a cup of milk. So, I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to start mixing this together. I need a bigger spoon. Okay, so this is too thick for me. If you like it like this, you can make the balls. This would be a good consistency once you mix it completely together. But I'm going to make flitters today, so I want it kind of watery-like, but not too, too watery. So I'm going to go ahead on and add my last egg.
It's almost there, guys. A little bit more of milk. And that should be it. And we're going to mix this together. Now, the key to this, to make sure everything is seasoned, I would like I will let this soak for a few hours to about between two to three hours and then I will go back and taste it and see if I need to add more season. If I need to add more season, then I will add more season and then let it sit a little bit more. So I'm going to taste this right quick, which I know is still fresh because I just mixed it, but I'm going to taste it now just in case I still need to add a little bit more season right now. And then after that, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for about three hours and then I'm going to pull it back out and taste it again and then re-season if I need to. So let's get ready to taste this. <clears throat> This is about it. Hmm. Tastes pretty good. So I'm going to add just a little bit more now. Because I think once I season it again this time, I don't, I'm not going to have to season it again later. Because I'm kind of tasting the seasoning now. So I'm adding a little more salt. Just a pinch of black pepper, not too much. And I think that will be it. So put this in the refrigerator for about three hours and then take it back out and taste it and see what you have. So we'll be back in about three hours and then we're going to cook this. Okay guys, I already let my batter soak for a lot, for about three hours. Now I pour some into a measuring cup and I have my pan that's sitting here. The grease is already hot. I'm gonna go ahead on and I'm gonna pour some of my batter until, into the pan like so. we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna flip it on the other side you're gonna wait till it get to a golden brown you will know once the sides start cooking that it's time for you to turn it over and also you'll have like little bubbles like the pancakes so I like to also take the hot grease and put over the top part that's not even touching the grease just so it can kind of help cook the top part too. And we're gonna let that sit and cook for a few minutes. As you can see, you can see how it's bubbling and it's starting to come together. So I'm gonna let it do its thing. See how hard it's done that already? So we're gonna let that cook a little bit and then we're gonna flip it over.
okay I'm gonna now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it look how pretty that is nice golden brown like to press little holes up here to make sure everything is cooked in the inside put a little oil let it go right on inside just to be on the safe side Place my plate with paper napkins to help soak up the oil. Once I remove it from the grease, I'm going to place it over here. And then I'm going to put another one in. from your flitter go ahead and place it there and then you can begin to make another one so I'll be right back let me finish up these and then I'll be right back okay guys I have finished making my comp flitters and this is how they came out you know Let's open up one so you can actually see it. So you see, you see how meaty it is with all the vegetables and everything. It and it's still kind of hot, so sorry about that. But yeah, thank you for watching my channel. This is Rocky J. Please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to go in the description box for all the measurements and the ingredients that you need to try out this recipe. Thank you. Have a blessed day.